Hi, my name is Chelsea Table One. Today I would like to show you how to uh, make your Raspberry Pi to auto uh, start uh, any application when it finishes startup. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm remoting to my Raspberry Pi via VNC, and uh, in order to do that, you have to uh, open your terminal first. Okay, and then you have to check if you uh, already have uh, the script to uh, auto start like this. Okay, if you don't have uh, this file, you have to create this file in the exactly part. Okay, as you can uh, as you see now. Okay, in order to do that, I already created instruction uh, into uh, my GitHub, and uh, I will uh, enter uh, the link uh, in the this YouTube description. Okay, you can check in YouTube description. Actually, uh, I will show you. It will be uh, right this. Okay. Okay, and now uh, I will follow uh, the instruction uh, in this script. Okay, you can go to this script and uh, follow uh, step by step. Okay, let my uh, let me get back to uh, my VNC. Okay. Uh, if you already created file, okay, uh, let's create and uh, I you know you have to uh, edit this file. Uh, by using sudo nano and enter. Uh, in this case, I already uh, enter some script. Okay. Uh, in case that you uh, never have this file before, you just create it. Uh, okay. It will be empty, right? You have to make sure that uh, you uh, tie this uh, this three three right first. If you don't, uh, if you not tie this three right first, uh, it you if uh, it could. Or the, your your library pipe could open uh, the application that you want, uh, but it will not load the desktop. It means that uh, you will see your application that you want to start up when uh, it finishes start up uh, show, but you will not see uh, the file manager. You will not see the desktop. In order to load both desktop and your application, you have to have uh, this uh, the live first. Okay. Uh, so make sure that you uh, copy uh, this uh, three line, okay, and add uh, into the first of your script, okay. And then, uh, if you want uh, your library pie to automatically uh, open any application, you can tie, okay. Um, you can tie uh, the application that you want uh, with the argument or the command line that you want. In this case, uh, I will uh, open uh, two applications. First is a browser, okay, uh, with this link called mobiles.com, and another is uh, some example application that I read. Uh, I, I I load it with Qt, okay, and now uh, I will uh, exit from this editor by control X and uh, type Y and enter to confirm and uh, you can check by uh, type uh, sudo reboot and it will reboot and uh, pit wait uh, for a few seconds maybe uh, half a minute okay and it will finish and your will uh, your VNC it will uh, uh, automati automatically uh, uh, reconnect again Okay. Uh, again, uh, why we uh, where it come back? Uh, you can follow my instruction uh, uh, by go to this link. Okay. Uh, first is create this file and directory exactly. Okay. Uh, be careful about the uh, the folder part. Okay. If if don't have, you have to create it by yourself. Okay. But if already have, don't create it. Just edit, okay. You can edit by uh, sudo nano like this one, okay, and copy uh, this to right first, and this one is up to your uh, to uh, to your requirement, uh, which application that you want to open. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now you will see that uh, the browser is open uh, automatically, and uh, I will close it first, and you will see. Um, Another application. This is a demo nine. Uh, it's all. Uh, it's also open. Okay, and that's it. And if you want to uh, uh, cancel the any uh, startup, uh, you can go to uh, the auto start file again. Okay, 
you just edit and comment uh, the application that you uh, cancel uh, auto start up by uh, tie the sharp symbol like this. Uh, this is where to cancel or comment. Okay, but you cannot comment this T line because uh, if so, your desktop will not open. And Ctrl X and Y and uh, sudo reboot again. Okay, anyway, uh, before you will do this, uh, please make sure that uh, you open SSH uh, or Secure Shell and you can remember your uh, uh, username and password around you to uh, remote via SSH or Secure Shell to edit this clip letter in case that you cannot uh, load your desktop again. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.